Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to properly install MX Simulator. I'm going to show you how to install your models, your tracks, your skins, gear, and get you online with the latest snapshot. And I'll even show you how to install some backgrounds for the game. First things first, you're going to want to go and install the full game. Can't do this with a demo. So, run the installer. After that finishes, you're going to need to locate two folders. One, you can find in your start menu under all programs. Go to MX Simulator and go to your personal folder. The other way you can get to that folder is through your app data. If you don't see it under your users, you can go to Organize, Folder, and Search Preferences and go to Show Hidden Files and Folders. It normally would be on Don't Show. You need to make it show. Hit apply and it will show up. After that, you can just go in local and find MX Simulator. Anyway, this is your personal folder. The other one, I'm just gonna call your normal folder. It's under your program files x86 or wherever you installed it. Go to MX Simulator and there you go. The normal folder will have the MX.exe in it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the forms go to models and skins and find the recommended models skins and tracks under that I'll put a link in the description to this thread it'll be the stock model replacements underneath here it'll say do not remove files from this folder and it'll have two links download each of those links and I'll show you I already did it and I already extracted them you'll have this exclamation mark RPP2 go into your normal folder just extract it and drag it over you're gonna have to merge these two um, folders and inside of this folder you will have default replacement models these are all the updated models this will make all your skins work anyway what you can do now is you can go download some skins there's this site you can also use the forms or other sites this one in particular I'll send you a link what happens here is I'm sorry my audio is getting kind of crappy I'm sorry if my voice pitch is changing my recording program sometimes increases or decreases my pitch but um anyway on this site You'll find AMA skins, tracks, um, bikes, pro bikes, pro gear, um, essentially everything you need, and it'll pretty much give you a link directly to the download. Anyway, you find something you like, um, you can go in pro gear, download some helmets, some gear, I would recommend anything really. Um, then you can go download some bikes and tracks. I already did that. I'm going to quick go into my download folder and show you. So, here we go. In the personal folder, here we go. You can just go and since you already have the proper models, take the bikes, take some helmets and the gear. And after you extract them, if they are in a RAR format, you can just bring them in. And this wheel pack is in a RAR so what I do is I just drag it over and highlight it and extract here after that finishes you can bring this back into your downloads or delete it what I just did is I just installed um, bike skins I installed helmets gear and wheels tracks however you're gonna wanna go and go to the forms MX simulator and go to the tracks thread go to the necessary objects by DJ99X I'll put that in the description there are five links there are five downloads go download all of them and put them in your normal folder once you do that you can go and here's a track it's in a zip and here's a track that I already unzipped 
Now this zipped one is done properly and the way you can tell is it's just an SAF by itself. So somebody somebody already protected it. This one however is a folder within a folder. Now the issue with that is when you start up MX Simulator you go to a new race. This is the James Stewart compound. And because it's a folder within a folder, all you get is sort of the outline, but you really can't see anything. Now, in order to fix that, what you need to do is go in. I would just copy and paste the folder and go in and since this folder merged delete the old folder so now when you're at the normal folder you can go inside of this track folder and you will have a couple folders and decals and um, a couple other a couple other files you go you start it up now because you installed it properly you will get the track looking normal. It will look perfect. Also, I'm going to just take a moment to show you, if you don't know, um, how to enable your skins. Essentially what you'll do is you'll go to the bike setup, you'll go into riding gear for your gear, and choose whatever you want. There's a couple pages if you have enough. Um, just choose whichever one you want. The helmet is the same way. If you installed helmet skins, you will have them and bike graphics. Now this is interesting. You will have a bunch of different models and years of different types of bikes. You need to find the one that corresponds with the skin you downloaded. For me, I downloaded a 2010 Yamaha pack. For some reason, there is no 2010, but the 2009 is what it works with. So go to 2009 and you have a ton of skins. However, if I went to the 2013 model, which I did not download anything for, there's nothing there. So just make sure you know what model you, your skin is for. So put that, and the wheels are the same way. So that's how you do that. Okay. Also, I'll just take a moment to have you notice the robots next to me with the default replacement they actually get higher res models as well. They have whatever you put in that default folder. Now, if you want to go online with this game, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the forms. And in the general discussion, they'll have the latest snapshot. With this, you go download it. I have it for Windows, so download that. Wait for it to finish loading. And now that's done loading, I'm going to go to my downloads, and there it is. You're also going to need to open up your personal, not your personal folder, your normal folder. And here you go. Just drag this in, and what you're going to want to do is delete your old, yeah, I want to do it. Delete your old MX EXE, and after this, delete everything except for the .exe and the mx. So you'll end up with mx.exe. If, however, you have this setting checked, hide extensions for known file types, so you just see an application that says mx. That's all you need. What you might want to do is you might want to make a new shortcut, depending on if it works or not. I would run this as administrator, and once it opens up, you'll be able to see at the bottom right of the screen it'll tell you whichever snapshot you got now one more thing is you see here the background is pretty darn boring what you can do now is go um, p2sta I don't know how to pronounce his name um, he has a download with pictures in it and these pictures I download them, put them in my pictures. These pictures are all called title, and they're in different folders, one through six. Now, for me, I kind of like this one. So what I'm going to do is go into my personal folder, copy the PNG, and just paste it into my personal folder. 
After that, you can start up MX Simulator. And after it loads, you'll get the MX Simulator with the cool background, whichever one you downloaded. So, that is your snapshot, your tracks, skins, and models. Now, if you have any questions, just put it in the comments and I'll get back to you. I might even make a video about it. Thanks for watching and have fun with MX Simulator.